Good afternoon, everybody. I just want to take a couple minutes and, and recognize who's here with me today. Um, Ed Broski from the State Attorney's Office, Chief Michael, Ho Chief Michael Holloway from the Sarasota Police Department, Chief Kevin Vespia from the Northport Police Department, Chief Tom McNulty from the Venice Police Department, and Special Agent in Charge Francisco Haldago from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And before we get started, I just want to ask for somebody to take, or for y'all to take a minute and watch a video that we're going to show you. Then we're going to talk a little bit about an operation that we did here in Sarasota County with the Sheriff's Office and all the main players you see here amongst you. Um, I'm going to ask Miss Rose to turn the lights off, and we're going to show you a quick video, give you a flavor for what we've been dealing with here, and then we'll uh, go through our operation. Get up! Um, so we can kind of give you the idea of what we did. This is a six-day operation we called Operation Intercept amongst all these agencies you see here with us. This was to arrest online predators who traveled to and within Sarasota County to allegedly have sex with a child or children. The conversations with these predators started in internet chat rooms or message boards and proceeded from there to emails, cell phone conversations, and, and very graphic and detail. These suspects thought they were talking to children, um, but they're actually talking to um, detectives from all the different agencies who you see up here with us today um, at different times, different locations with the, the context with them. Um, the result of this operation, I have to say, is, is disturbing to an extent. Overall, we snared 31 individuals who are engaged in this type of sick criminal activity that we're seeing nowadays. They range in all ages from 20 to 62 years of age, and they're from every walks of life. I want to give you an example, um, talking about every walks of life, I'll give you an example of just a few people. You can see all the photographs over here uh, that was arrested by um, our agencies. Sean Gray is a lieutenant commander in the United States Coast Guard who is also an attorney with the JAG in Miami. He drove in from Miami, and he thought he was going to have sex with an eight-year-old, and he was arrested during this operation. Carlos Martinez worked in the technology, the IT unit, at the United States Courthouse in Lee County, and was chatting from his laptop computer when he was arrested in this operation. Two of the suspects involved in this operation had weapons with them, pistols with them. One of the individuals, Matthew Weaver, brought a four-year-old child with him to the house when he was going to engage in sex with a child. And as you see, Jamie Spencer is already a convicted sex offender who's back up on our board who got caught in this operation. Several suspects drove luxury-type vehicles to commit the crimes. One was a 2008 BMW. We have initiated forfeiture proceedings on seven of the vehicles that were driven by suspects who were caught in this operation. And um, we will proceed with forfeiture and, and take those vehicles. A lot of it is taking their tools of the trade if they want to travel to have sex with minors, um, we will take their vehicles from them so they can't have their tools of the trade to get to do this. One thing I want to say before we, we, we finish, before I'm done here a little bit, is we do not and we cannot in law enforcement um, do operations like this without good, strong leadership from our state attorney. And I want to um, give a minute to Mr. Ed Broski from the state attorney's office who's going to make a couple comments um, about their, their involvement with this and the prosecutions of these individuals that are forthcoming. Ed? Thank you. Sir, could you just say your name? Yes, first name is Ed, last name Brodsky, B-R-O-D-S-K-Y. Uh, today we see an excellent example of what can be accomplished when many different law enforcement agencies come together. Federal, state, county, and municipal law enforcement agencies working together in a coordinated effort to battle those that prey on our children. The arrests that were made this week are the culmination of the efforts of this multi-agency task force 
many of which are represented here today. The State Attorney's Office was pleased to have been a part of this operation at its inception and to be present and to be there to advise during the planning stages of this operation. We plan to continue to work closely with the various law enforcement agencies as the prosecution phase of these cases begins. Our office is committed to doing everything we can to protect our children from victimization, and to this endeavor, we will remain vigilant. Thank you. A couple quick more conference. A conference. I, I think that this operation here in Sarasota illustrates, Sarasota County illustrates, how vulnerable our kids are. And for parents, guardians of children, we live in a different era now than what we all grew up in. I cannot express how important it is for parents and guardians to become engaged and involved in what's going on with the technology that our youth have in this day and age. For those parents or guardians who don't know how to use technology, need some help with that, any of these people standing up here with me, the Sheriff's Office, the Department of Law Enforcement, any of the um, city police departments, um, you can contact us and we will do the best we can do to give you information of how to see and look inside your children's computers and see who they're talking to. These are not many adults. They cannot make decisions and make judgment decisions when they're having people contact them and trying to lure them to a location or to come and see them. So I cannot um, impress upon the parents to become engaged with their children um, and to use us in law enforcement to help you do that. One thing I want to say, and I speak for all of the executives here, the police chiefs and the Department of Law Enforcement and the State Attorney's Office, um, we do these, we, we stay on top of this continuously. This is an enhanced effort this one time. We are committed here in Sarasota County that we will work as law enforcement throughout the county um, to stop this from being, from people coming here or people within the county of doing this. One thing I want to stress is that um, we will not and we shall not reveal the location we did this in now. We do know that we will be doing this in the future, enhanced details. We will continue to do it like we've always done. Um, but when you come into Sarasota County, it doesn't matter if you go into a city limits or in a county, wherever you're at, you will probably encounter a good likelihood of all the law enforcement agencies working here um, to combat this problem. Um, with that said, we will be here um, to answer any questions independently. I think it's safe to say I want to thank all the law enforcement agencies here, the Department of Law Enforcement, the Venice Police, the Northport Police, Sarasota Police, and the State Attorney's Office for the cooperative effort. These are large undertakings to get done, but it's the right thing to do. We will continue to do it. With that said, we'll take a couple of questions. I think the video and the, and the photographs speak for themselves. Anybody